Hi everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I want to review this book, A First Course in Probability by Sheldon Ross. Uh, the edition I have here is the eighth edition. I don't know if you can see it. It's written in red. This is the book that I used my junior year of college when I took my first probability theory class. And overall, I like this book. Uh, it's a little tough to read. I mean, let's take a brief look in here. If I just briefly go through you can see it's it's very text heavy right uh, so if you're gonna buy this be prepared to do some reading and rereading maybe maybe um, and also I should say that if you're gonna get into this book you need uh, you'll need about three classes of calculus right so the prereqs for this are calc 3 they use multiple integrals in this so if you don't know what multiple integrals are uh, maybe this book isn't for you just yet um, but after you get through some calculus, this book isn't too bad to swallow. So what does this actually talk about? Well, it would be, as the title suggests, a, fir a first course in probability that you might take. Uh, so if you're a math major or a stats major, you're probably going to have to take a class very similar to this. You can see the contents of this. Uh, first starts talking about combinatorics. So that's very important. The way you count things and arrange things is very important and fundamental to the ideas of probability. Second chapter is the axioms of probability. So things like you can't have probabilities more than one or 100%, right? You can't have negative probabilities. Um, they talk about conditional probability and independence, very fundamental ideas. And then the biggest probably thing are random variables. So you'll learn about discrete versus continuous random variables and all the different probability di distributions. Um, joint probability distributions, uh, expectation, the limit theorems, so like the central limit theorem, and then it has some additional topic, uh, topics at the end like Markov chains and other things if you go on to study different things in probability. So overall, it's a pretty good overall representation of the topics of probability theory it also has a chapter at the end on uh, simulation if you're uh, I think that's probably more about um, if you're doing probability and trying to simulate probabilistic events with computers um, I think and so if I just turn to the first chapter here you can see uh, it's a very black and white book there's not any color I don't think um, but what I do like I do like when math books bold or outline the theorem here so you can see the first one the general principle of counting and one thing I really do like about this book is there are many examples so you can see there's example 2 B C D and E so there's lots and lots of examples that are fully worked out that's very nice um, and you can see that you can pretty much read this and teach yourself without an instructor if you really had to again there's bold things there and then at the end of each chapter, you can see if I get here, there is a brief summary of the chapter. So if you need like a quick review, it has a summary. And then there are tons and tons of problems. So I think just the regular problems, this first chapter has 33. It's already a significant amount. And then it has theoretical exercises. So there are even more problems. <laughs> So there's about 20 of those in this chapter. And then there's even a self-test. So if you want to like test yourself. And I think in the back of the book, um, there are just the answers to the problems. I'll see here. Let's see if I can find it. If I look in the back. Yeah, answers to selected problems. Um, so I guess not all of them. And the problems aren't worked out. I think if you want to find a full solution manual, it's online somewhere. I think somehow I got a hold of it, or maybe one of my class members got a hold of it. Uh, that gives you the worked out solutions to just uh, the chapter problems. But if you do the self-test problems, it looks like those answers are actually fully worked out for you. So that's really nice um, if you want to use those. Probably these are not going to be the questions from your homework if you get those um, the one thing I didn't like about this book is that as far as the probability distributions go for discrete and continuous I didn't see a table 
of all the probability distributions laid out at once, which is uh, kind of characteristic of st stat books, like uh, lists, you know, like the normal, the Poisson, the geometric, all the distributions at once, and it has their expectation and their variance and the uh, moment generating function and that sort of thing. Um, I like when the books have that. This one didn't have that unless uh, unless I just missed it somewhere. But overall, a, a really good book if it's your first class in probability. I really can't say uh, anything bad about it other than it's it's a little bit tough to read. It's a little bit dense. And also that it didn't have those tables I was looking for. This is the 8th edition. I bought this. I think the 8th edition was the newest one about... Oh geez, has it been maybe five or six years now <laughs> since I took this class? So uh, certainly probably there's another uh, newer edition, maybe with some updates that I'm not aware of. Uh, but you can't really go wrong. It's, it's, it's a pretty good book. I think I'll see if I can get a link in the description for this. Um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to comment, ask me. I'm uh, happy to answer. And thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.